brand new month is here already and we're ready with a brand new episode of Football United. I say we as always because you can see Moria Mandal is uh, next to me. We'll also be joined by a certain Pradyum Reddy later on on this show. So stick along because we've got a very action-packed Football United lined up just for you. We speak to Mumbai City FC star signing Igor Angulo. Pradyum Reddy rates the transfers done by the Hero ISL clubs. Roy Krishna extends his stay with the Mariners. And now we have the one, the only, the man with the best moustache in Indian football right now, <laughs> Krishna Pradyum Reddy. Pradyum, <laughs> welcome to Football United. How have you been? Thank you, Mojo. Yeah, I've been good. I've been, uh, as you can see, in twirling my uh, tash in anticipation of all the new signings coming up. And, uh, <laughs> fo- following Twitter, like everybody else, like all the Indian fans, looking forward to seeing where the um, new signings are cropping up, who's moving to the other clubs. Um, and some interesting developments, certainly. Uh, talking of moving to other clubs, Mumbai City FC have made the big, big signing of Igor Angulo. Uh, how do you react to that? Good signing? No, I think it's a terrific signing. I mean, we, we saw last season he, how clinical he was. He was a brilliant, brilliant striker in terms of his uh, ratio of converting chances. Um, and I think it was very important as well, just the, the timing as well as the kind of signing, because it was just weeks earlier that uh, the news of Hugo Bumu moving across to um, your club, Mojo, HK Mohan made, made a lot of um, HK Mohan fans very, very happy. So I think as a statement of intent, capturing the top scorer from the league was also a crucial sign, especially having with Bart or Becha having gone to Hyderabad and other players moving along. I think it's a, a good signing of intent. And joins that long list of players who moved on from FC Goa and now gone on to join Mumbai City FC. But you know what? We caught up with the former Gore and now an Islander, Igor Angulo, and this is what he had to say. Igor, lots of rumours about you joining various clubs, but finally it's Mumbai. Tell us what made you choose Mumbai. I think it was uh, quite easy to, to choose Mumbai. At the end, uh, they are the current champions uh, of the league, of the playoffs also. They are going to play the FC Champions League uh, next season and it's a big motivation for me to to, to join with, uh, with this club, with the highest ambitions in, in ISL. You spoke about the AFC Champions League, that must be a big motivation, right? Yes, uh, fantastic motivation for me. At the end, I think any player wants to, to face the, the best clubs in, in Asia, the best players in Asia, and, and this, in this competition, we, we can do it. So, for any player, it's a pleasure to, to play this kind of, uh, of games. He got it said in football, it's probably easier to win a title, but more difficult to defend it because everybody is coming for Mumbai this year. Uh, more pressure there and makes the task a little more difficult? Yeah, it's true, you're right. It's, uh, it's difficult to reach the target, but to maintain there in that level is uh, super difficult. So, of course, the pressure is going to be on, on us, but I think it's uh, something natural. With uh, In my career, in all the clubs I was, I uh, had the pressure. Even even more because I'm a striker, you know, and when you're a striker, you have to score goals in almost all the, all the games. So, so the pressure is natural in, in football. I, I like it, even I like it, even I play even better with the pressure on me. Tell me something, what do you consider your greatest strength as a striker? To, to be a striker, the most important thing I think is the, the experience. And it's not only my opinion, the, my numbers, my statistics uh, are there. I'm scoring much many goals now. Now I mean the last six, seven, eight years than, than never before. Some of the top strikers are back again this year. You are back. Roy Krishna is back at ATK Mohan Bagan. Uh, Bartholomew Ogbeche is back. Sunil Chetri is there at DFC. How do you look at this battle for the Golden Boot? Uh, already shaping up nicely with all the big guys back. Ah, it's going to be difficult like, like it was last year. Uh, at the end, they are very good. Uh, I was going to say they very good foreigners, but also Indian players are very good. I was surprised last year when I, when I came. The level of the Indian players also are is very is really good so so the race for the golden boot is gonna be uh, tough but as i told you it's not my main target my main target is to win the t- uh, title to win the the playoffs also and to and to make a good role in the in the champions league so after of course i'm a striker and i have to score goals and after if i win again the golden boot is gonna be was gonna would be uh, fantastic now a difficult question for you you scored 14 goals last season your favorite of the lot i don't know what to say it was special uh, the first one because uh, it was in my first game and was in difficult situation because we were losing 0-2 and was important for the for the club and 
for me too, because it was my, my first one in, in ISL. But I had many, I had uh, also two, three, three goals at the end of the games in the minute 92, 94 were important also to, to win the games, so I would take uh, all of them, I cannot choose only one. <laughs> Right, from Igor Angulo to another top striker in the Hero Indian Super League, uh, Roy Krishna has decided to extend his stay, stay at the, in the city of Roy as it's called. As you can see, Moria is absolutely delighted with that news. Actually, we're all, right, for a neutral watching the ISL, Roy Krishna certainly does light it up, Brad. How big is that uh, signing, or should I say, retention from uh, the Mariners' point of view? Yeah, I think with all the speculation, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, there was speculation of him moving abroad and having uh, plenty of offers. I mean, no doubt he would have had plenty of offers, not just in India, but abroad. I think it's it's crucial that the top teams retain their top players, especially because you know we, these are the teams that are going to be competing in Asia, representing um, yeah. representing India. And you, we saw how well uh, FC Goa competed in the Champions League, and now we're going to look forward to seeing the likes of FC uh, ATK Mohan Bagan FC and Bangalore FC in the AFC Cup. And you want these players playing in those competitions because that's going to make a huge difference in how far those teams progress. What I loved about Roy Krishna is if you're looking to, you know, in the modern game, you look to press from the front and his work rate's absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, you, you look at him and you don't think he's, he's not one of the biggest number nines, but he certainly leads the line both in terms of the way he presses. His aerial ability is fantastic for a guy who's, you know, not six foot plus. And he's, he's deceptively, deceptively strong. You look at the way he just brushes off defenders. And... Absolutely, Roy Krishna, he scores goals for fun. He's got 29 goals already in the Hero Indian Super League. What a player, what a striker, what a retention. Let's find out more why this is one of the biggest, biggest signings for ATK Mohan Bagan this season. There he is. He's done it again. Krishna delivers. The wait is finally over for the Mariners. Ending weeks of speculation, Roy Krishna has extended his stay in the city of joy. ATK Mohan Bagan announced their lethal hitman will keep shining in green and maroon. Bula from Fiji. I'm really excited uh, that I've signed another year with the ATK Mohan Bagan family. Can't wait to join the team and meet my brothers and hope to see you guys soon. Roy Krishna! Reports had emerged recently that several clubs had given offers to the Fiji International, some even outside India. But Krishna has decided to stay at ATK Mohan Bagan. This will come as a huge relief to the fans. Because one thing is guaranteed with Roy Krishna around, goals, lots of goals. Roy Krishna has been in prolific goal-scoring form in his two seasons in the Hero Indian Super League. He has scored 29 goals in 44 matches and has even provided 14 assists. Last season also, Krishna was in fabulous form as ATK Mohan Bagan finished second in the league behind Mumbai City FC. But Krishna won the hearts of the fans as he managed to net in both Kolkata derbies against arch-rivals SC East Bengal. Yeah, Krishna, he's got a side of goal! Last season, Krishna scored 14 goals for the Green and Maroon Brigade and even provided 8 assists. But his impact was beyond the goals as he led the line admirably for the Mariners. Alright, on that note, it's time to uh, test Dr. Reddy a little bit. Should I call you Doctor instead of Professor? We call everybody Professor, right? Who's going to give us some grades for how the clubs have been performing in the transfer market. So, Dr. Reddy, first up is Mumbai City FC. Uh, give us your grades and give us reasons for why you're giving them the grade that you are. I think if we're talking about transfers at the moment, overall transfers, I think they're probably in the negative at the moment because you looked, at, you lost the likes of Hugo Bumu, who was obviously a crucial player for them last season. You lost your number one, Amr the Singh, to, yeah. to your rivals. Um, Beche who was terrific, as we know, a leader in the dressing room, as well as cropped up with crucial goals for them in the big games. And I think Bidyananda's moved as well to a direct rival. And yeah. you know, if you look at it, three of their players have moved to their biggest rival, which is ATK Mohan Bagan. So I think in that respect, with only Igor Angulo coming in and alleg you know, allegedly Mohamed Nawaz is coming in too, to replace Amrinda, I think at the moment you probably just have to say, you know, maybe they're just a B minus and A because they haven't replaced what they've lost. But no doubt about it, with the likes, with the might of uh, the City Group behind them, uh, 
and the players they've got, um, whether it's more FC Go players coming in or um, whether it's just some astute signings from abroad, um, no doubt they'll be climbing that, changing that sort of B to an A plus very, very soon. Okay, let's go, Dr. Eddie. ATK Mohan, <laughs> how are they looking? They're looking strong. Aren't they? And you look at the signings coming in, I mean, it's almost like the all star team from last season. You've got Liston Colasso from Hyderabad, you've got Amrinder Singh, Vidyananda, Ashtosh from Northeast. Uh, Deepak Tangri, who was impressive at Chennai, and, and and the foreigners as well. I mean, Hugo Boom is a, is a massive, massive addition to to a club like ATK Mohan Bagan. So, what's your rating? I think it'd have to get them an A plus, Mojo. Good man, good man, Dr. Reddy. Three months Dr. ago. Uh, <laughs> the next up, Hyderabad FC. They have been one of the more active clubs in the transfer yeah. window. They have got uh, just a few days back. They announced Juanan. Uh, Nim Dorji and Gurmeet Singh Chahal were also announced this week. Uh, along with that, they have Edu Garcia, uh, Ogbeche, while wow, Victor stays. It looks like a solid team. How, how are you rating them? This was the team that everyone was looking to because last season they were, I think, probably the neutrals' favourite, a lot of uh, fans' favourite, and wanted to see them qualify for the playoffs. And what was it they were missing, and what's that next stage? And I think. A little bit of experience is what everyone felt, and they've certainly gone with experience in terms of uh, Bartok Beche, Juanan. You've got players who are veterans of the league. So give us your grade for BFC this season so far. I think there's a lot of um, a lot of big names to replace, and if you look at the names coming in, um, Alan Costa, Prince Ibarra, um, they they've got a tough task to fill these uh, fill fill the boots of the players that they've come in because they were not just fan favourites as well, but they were consistent performers. So I think this AFC Cup will give us a little bit of a hint about the qualities of these new foreign signings. Um, but speaking of strikers, it's almost as if because of the lack of striking options last couple of seasons, they've seemed to have gone overboard this year. You look at the likes of Danish Farouk, you've got Vidya Saga, you've got, um, um, I think, Harman. Harman, joined, yes, Harman yeah. Peter's yeah. joined too. So you, you seem to have about seven or eight attackers, obviously, if you count retaining the likes of... Um, Clayton Clayton, Ashik, Danta, Sunil. So they've got a plethora of talent in that position. It's how they're going to balance that and keep everybody happy is going to be the uh, the trick. But for me, I think the one smart and astute signing in the in the back has got to be Sarta Golvi. I think you lose Raul Beke, you get a like for like replacement, a national team, you know, borderline national team player who can play that right back position as well as uh, centre back. Centre back. Yeah. But I think the one they're going to miss, and which is why I'm going to give them just a you know, a B plus at the moment. I think the likes of Cabra and the other players that you've lost, you've lost a lot of leaders. Up next, the big one. Be very careful of what you say here. <laughs> Kerala Blasters. I think Kerala and the team behind uh, the coaching staff over there have gone with a different model of the, the way they're approaching their Indian player recruitment. You've got Homi who looked very impressive for Punjab FC last season. And you've got Vinci Barreto. So they've looked around the I-League and and leagues and look to get talented Indian youngsters and they've addressed a problem which they haven't replaced since um, I think since Mehta Hussain left the team they didn't have that midfield enforcer I think mean, that's to I'm stealing your uh, your thoughts Mojo but um, I think Cabra is going to be crucial for them in terms of the foreigners I think this Adrian Luna looks brilliant um, from Melbourne City I mean that's a top top Big player time. and especially you know it's an intent as well I think they've signed him for two seasons so they're looking to build something really, really solid at that club. So I think they. Ms. Sipovich has also come in from Chennai. Oh yes, yeah, that's right. I was. I mean, I'll have to admit that caught me by surprise. Um, it caught everyone by surprise. Yeah. Uh, and um, especially because I think he was a bit of a fan favorite at Chennai as well. Yeah. I think they would have loved to have um, had um, Sipovich back. So in terms of that, it's a good signing where, and I'm seeing this a lot this season with the league where. Because a lot of other countries are opening up and players know that it's going to be a bio bubble in the Indian Super League, it's clubs are being a little bit smart in their recruitment and going for players who've already had bubble experience. I think at the moment, because they haven't really shown their hand, I mean, they've only shown two foreign signings and uh, a couple of um, Indian signings, they'll probably have to just go with an A minus and. Um, a, because, a. No minus. A. A. Sorry, an A. <laughs> okay, Brad, can you move to. Move to one side so I can see what's on your blackboard. I can't see OFC in there at all. Is there a reason why you omitted them from your uh, from your intense research and study that you've been doing, Doctor Reddy? 
run out of space on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they've been doing well, haven't they? I think um, if you look at the way, I think the toughest thing sometimes is to rebuild when you when you've had the season where the likes of um, Kerala Blasters down to East Bengal, as East Bengal and Odisha, where you know that you need to bring reinforcements to to improve the performance of last season. It, one of the easier things is to go and sign a couple of new faces and fresh faces, but I think the bigger problem, which SC's been going on some other teams like this. How do you, you've got a lot of players already on your books that you have to let go of. Um, and I think that balancing act is a tricky, tricky part. With Victor Mongil and um, Javier Hernandez coming in, I think once again, you can see clubs going with that tried and tested people who've got proven experience in this league. Uh, before you give your ranking or rating, what do you make of uh, Victor Mongil being their new announcer in chief? Uh, that was quite funny, I think, the way um, it got leaked that uh, Javi was signing because you know, normally go and have a coffee with someone unless you've both got something to do, especially before you're medical. At the moment, I mean, there's no, you, couldn't, you can't say there's any marquee big Indian name that stands out amongst the uh, signings, whether you know, maybe Isaac or Ruatara have experience. Um, and the foreign players, I mean, we heard they were in the market for Angulo and they were pipped at the post by um, Mumbai City FC. So at the moment, you probably have to say it's a B. Um, B. And a B. And unless some big name Indian signings can be attracted to the club in the next few days, or, or the remaining five or four foreigners are, are the ones that really grab, uh, grab some attention. Okay, moving on, we've, we've obviously got word that you know FC Goa are going with uh, consistency, continuity, whatever you want to call it. We don't have a great deal of information about Jamshedpur signings, although you seem to have a bit of a look into that. Uh, SC East Bengal, of course, uh, same story. And Chennai and FC have been a bit coy about some of their signings. Oh, but but Chennai, uh, Chennai, uh, Prague probably won't want to give a rating here, but I would love to give a rating. I'll Come on. Also join them. Chennai, I think Chennai have actually done well in the transfer market. Uh, they have uh, the likes of Devjeet. So, they have three fairly good goalkeepers in Devjeet, Vishalke and uh, Karanjeet still there. Uh, they have Changtes and Thapas already in the team. Edwin's also there. They've brought in a Salam Ranjan, a Joby Justin. Yeah. So, overall, I think, plus they have managed to retain Rafa, Rafa which is the big one. So, I would yeah. possibly give them an A right now. Great catching up uh, with Dr. Reddy, Pradyum Reddy, of course, joining us on Football United. Time for a short little breather here, but on the other side, we continue having a little bit of fun with Gurpreet Singh Sandhu and Suresh Wangjam and all the news from the Premier League. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Football United with Moria Mandel and me, Anand Tyagi. Now, last week, we managed to catch up with the Great Wall of India and BFC Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, who had uh, the little prodigy in uh, Suresh Wangjam next to him. We showed you part one of that interview last week. Let's catch up with part two. Uh, me, Suresh, Udanto and Sunil Pai, we were supposed to go for a road trip. And we were like, okay, I'll drive in my car, he'll drive in his car. And I was like, yaar, aapas mein baat karna hai, to walk it chahiye, you know? And uh, I'm a big fan of Top Gear and uh, the Grand Tour and I watch Jeremy Clarkson, you know, uh, yeah. James May and all those guys and they always have a walkie-talkie. Okay? And for me, it's like, you know, fun. Hai, yeah? So I bought a walkie-talkie and then Sunil Bhai got COVID and then, you know, <laughs> the whole thing got binned. But later on, uh, I got the opportunity to stay with Suresh for three, four days in my own home. <laughs> I got the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> that's when that's when I told him, like I said, you are in pre-season, na? You take one walkie-talkie, I'll take one walkie-talkie because everyone will get different room in quarantine. Yeah. So I'll like baat kya karenge, ek dusre ke. Chetri bhai told us a story, uh, told Moria and me a story where when he got the call up for the national team, when he knew that he's starting the next day, 
he video called chetri bhai and sonam was also sitting chetri bhai's wife was also with him and yeah. the video call came were you a bit disappointed that that video call did not come to you because obviously the little the young man was feeling a bit of pressure before going into the 11th pressure mein nahi dala tha iske upar the day before we were supposed to go and uh, I think the number of plays was supposed to uh, slash down, you know, from I think 32 to 28 or something like that. And uh, I remember that, you know, we were in BFS, and I still have the video. Uh, I was recording him secretly, and I was like, "Yeah, Suresh, you know, big competition, hai, yaar, midfield. Mein, you know, there is a lot of plays. He's like, "Yeah, bhi, yaar, yeah, bhi." I said, "Yeah, yaar, uh, you must be nervous, na, yaar." He's like, "A little, little nervousness, to ho raha hai mere ko." I said, "Yeah, haan, theek hai." Don't worry. If it doesn't come, then next time, no problem. Hey, <laughs> 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 never. What he did was like uh, our that uh, Manchu boy sent our tickets to him, and he didn't tell me. You know, he told ah, mera to aagya boy, me or Ashik to aagya. Aap karne hai to boy. I got more tension. You know. <laughs> 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 so because we are together in the club, like if Manchu boy is sending the ticket, so. If I'm, if they are calling me, then even uh, my tickets should be with him. But he's saying, "Boy, tera to nahi aaya, boy." Asa bola. So I was saying, "Gulbab, please take it carefully." <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. But next time you can tell him, Anshu, uh, Suresh, that I'm the AFF emerging player. Now you can send the tickets directly to me. You don't have to send it to Gurpreet for for him to transfer to me, right? Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but Gurpreet, uh, what what is it that you told him not to shake hands with Sandesh Jain? Then why? Sandesh is one of the nicest guys. Why would he do? I know, yeah, but no, no one knows that. Nah. Like when you look at him, you look, yeah, yeah, but a, I mean, danger man. When you yeah. look at Sandesh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, I mean, senior players, you know, be respectful. If he doesn't raise his hand, then you have to get his hand. Like that, he will get out. So, he will be 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 out. You listen to me. <laughs> but you can catch up with all the Premier League action on the Star Sports Network and Disney Plus Hotstar. But uh, as far as this episode is concerned, that's all we have for you. Don't forget to use the hashtag Football United to tweet us with all your responses about this episode and what you'd like to see in future episodes. But until the next time, from all of us, it's goodbye. Sometimes you feel lucky you watched him play. Sometimes you feel blessed. But Suri is getting younger. He's inch perfect, and who's there? Captain, leader, legend, Sonal Chetri just glances it in the far corner. 